Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Attack on Titan chapter 129. And yes, I got me a Japanese arm and plushie. Finally! So I don't have to use those great Eastern entertainment ones anymore. Oh, I've been looking everywhere for a Japanese arm and plushie. I wish it was a bigger one, yes, I do, but I'll take what I can get. He's, isn't he just so cute? Yes, he's adorable. And yes, I'm keeping him in the plastic until I get um, uh, Isayama to sign it. <laughs> when I get Isayama to sign it, I'll take it out of plastic. Um, I spent uh, $35 on this one. Uh, I found him on eBay. I don't know if I'll ever be able to find another one like this on eBay. I'm still holding out on finding a bigger uh, Armin plushie on eBay in the form of Bram, uh, Bram Presto or um, or a Sega uh, brand plushie, but for now this will do. Um, the other thing I gotta talk about, of course, is the Attack on Titan um, anime adaptation. The final tra uh, season trailer came out. Uh, it, it is Studio Mappa that is adapting it, and for those of you that don't know, after JC staff, uh, Studio Mappa is like my least favorite studio. Yes, even, stu Studio Periot is like my third or fourth least favorite, because at least with Studio Periot, at least the writing to, at least the writing is good. But man, Mappa, I'm very, very scared with what Mappa's gonna do with the writing. Uh, for Attack on Titan, especially with what's going on right now. I'm very scared we're going to get a lot of lore cut out because of, for censorship purposes. Very, 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 very scared. Not just for censorship purposes, but also um, in terms of, um, of timing because they'll want to just like cram as much shit as they can into so many episodes. Very, very scared in regards to that uh, as well. So... For those motherfuckers that are going to say, Oh, but MAPPA does this, this, and this, and that. Well, sorry to break it to you. MAPPA has treated me like shit. Tr um, or at least treated the series that, uh, manga series that I like, like shit. They've treated Kakiguri like shit. they treated Shikoku no Altar like shit. And trust me, they're going to treat this one, uh, they'll treat this one like shit too. They'll treat the writing like this one like shit. They will. Watch. They will. Mark my goddamn words, they will. But, anyway, um, last month, uh, in Attack on Titan manga, we got into some, uh, intense civil war, because we're trying to get off the island and go help Eren, and man, was it looking crazy. It was just insanity going on. And no, my boy Armin is not dead, because remember, he's got the power of the Titan in him, so he ain't, he ain't dead. Looked like he was gonna die, but no, he ain't dead. He's okay. Anyway, let's get to um, this chapter and see what's in store for us this month. And this chapter is titled Nostalgia. And speaking of, it started off with Arvid. Oh, Arvid, I hate that you're looking like this. Oh, Arvid! Oh, and there's all the other top. There's, there's Annie. And there's Rainer. What did you just say? Um, it usually takes a day for the maintenance before we can fly, fly the plane. If it's in good condition, half a day will do. Uh, half a day? You expect us to hold off the enemy for that long? Uh, the enemy will keep sending in reinforcements. It's impossible to hold off uh, for that long with, ti um, with Titan powers, which can only last a couple of hours. It's too late. The rumbling is faster than uh, horses. It can go um, go through obstacles. Roughly uh, 600 kilometers from the coast will be damaged, and it will take four days to destroy the entire continent. Even if we stopped uh, Aaron as fast as possible, uh, Liberio is already doomed. Oh, gosh. No way! Even if we fly, we won't be able to locate Aaron. It will take more time. Holding off here for half a day is already if impossible. I have an idea. A city south from here is um, Odaiha, in which uh, Azuma Bito family, which uh, Azuma Bito family has a facility. We can get the plane uh, ready there. Uh, we can leave now on um, a ship with the plane docked and have the uh, 
have the plane to fly from there. Marley's coast in terms of distance wouldn't... W in terms of Marley's coast in terms of distance, wouldn't it be destroyed by the rumbling soon? Odaya is a, um, ahead of the rumbling, but staying there for half a day is a gamble. Gamble? Gamble? Anyway, flying from here is impossible. Is there coal on the ship? Yes, sir. But it takes, uh, it takes around 30 minutes to leave. I'll call Captain uh, Levi and the others. 15 minutes. If you guys die, um, know that not only Hizuru, but the whole world will end. I'll tell Mikasa. Woo! Okay. Take this! Yeah! Change of plans. We'll escape with the ship and fly from the continent. Help, um, help us to reach the, uh, the ship. Maintenance on the, co uh, on the continent? It's unsafe here for sure, but would we be able to beat the founding type with that? Will I be able to go to my dad in Liber uh, Liberio? Well, that's all the only option you got now! Now go! It's the Azamabito! Kill her! Yeah, that ain't happening. Oh, you traitorous! Why is Azamabito out there? Why is she out, uh, out there risking her life? No, wait! Twitter lawyers that this that the third degree was going to be escalated to the second degree uh, murder. I don't like how it was done, but it was done, and um, and this was before it was announced, of course. And uh, some other this motherfucker who is a K-pop stan. I don't know what the fuck is going on with these K-pop stands. I can't stand them. I'm sorry. A lot of these K-pop. I like K-pop, but these K-pop stands are ruining and ruining K-pop for me. Uh, but this motherfucker said to me, whose side are you on? I was like thinking, excuse me? And, that, and the reason why I'm bringing this up is that this is what this has been, this is what Attack on Titan has been really making me think of. It's like, and, and I've been saying this for a while, it's like, it's this, what, these two extremes, you're either on one side of the extreme or the other. There's like no gray area. And it's just like, and that's what we we're in right now. It's one or the one side or the other. It's like, excuse me, what the fuck? There's a gray area. There's never two extremes. You can't make someone choose between two extremes. Fuck that. There's always a third option. There's never two choices. And we got the same kind of thing. Actually, we got the same kind of thing going on in um in Platinum End as well. Platinum End is very in. If, if you aren't reading Platinum End right now. Go read it. Platinum has got something um, very interesting, something like that going on as well. But anyway. Um, but God! Here we go. Uh, ah, jeez, they started to go for the ship! At this rate, uh, those two won't last. I must fight. Uh, I must fight with my jaw tighten. No, it's not easy transforming for the first time. But if they keep this up, leave it to me. I'll fight after bringing you to the ship. If it was uh, Galliard instead of me, he wouldn't be uh, staying here like this. He would be sitting uh, here debating about what to do. Falco, yes, do it! We're going to the ship first. Get on, hurry up and uh, prepare to depart. 
He was shot in the chest and his stomach. Also in the jaw. Um, it will, uh, it will heal quickly. And you, I'll protect the ship. General McGoth, Falco is... Yes! Yes! We have to help Rainer and Annie, but reinforcements are coming from the station. We have to stop it. We won't be able to leave. What? What? That's... Our reinforcements have been hit, but by whom? What are you doing, Falco? Get on the ship right now! Rainer, Annie! It's now or never. End them! I can't move. I can't see! Yes! Ah, Connie! You traitor! Die! Oh, sorry. Die, you traitor! Oh my god, if Connie dies, this is gonna be horrible. If we hesitate, comrades will die! Um, Flock, I know! Use the spears on the cart! Use the guns to take out the traitors! We do it at the same time, all at once! Protected our island, our country! Oh, shit! Yes! Here it comes! Yes! No way! Did Falco just... I'll leave you, I'll leave you to it, Gabby! Yes, sir! Yes! It's Falco time! Yes! Falco! Now they are collapsing! It's now or never! Fuck! Yes! No! Why did they made it out? Oh, shit! Dude, my boy, I'm so proud of Falco right now! Dude, I am so proud of my boy... Falco! So proud of him! One shot will do it. Just, wait, wait a minute! Isn't this Falco's second time transforming? I thought, I thought this was Falco. Maybe this is Falco's first first time being aware of transforming. I thought it said, uh, since uh, he um, was inherited, um, since he inherited the Titan. But I swear it was his second time transforming. You guys can correct me in the comment section. One shot will do it. Just one shot at the bottom of the ship. I am the one who's going to save Aldia. Yeah, you wish, bitch! You wish, Flaw! Yeah, Gabby! Yeah! Gabby, good job! Look, I can't believe I'm rooting for Gabby right now. <laughs> I just, I never thought we would get to this point where we'd be rooting for Gabby. Did anyone think that was possible? Flock, we're leaving! Get get in! Let's go before those guys come back! What? Falco! There are no enemies! Dude! Dude! I love how Falco's coming out like a fucking shark! Dude! I swear to God, when we get to this part in the manga adapted anime form, which I doubt Mappa's gonna be creative enough to do, it, um... Can we have Jaws music here? Like, seriously, this would be, like, a perfect, like, John Williams thing right here. It'd be the dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. <laughs> seriously! We need Jaws music up here! Oh, my God! What? Falco! There are no enemies! Get out! Oh, shit! Uh, what? Falco! Pete, take down Falco! It's okay now, Falco. You did well. Get on, quick! Um, are you okay? For now. Uh, leave now. W what about you? I'll take care of it here. What? Commander, uh, turn back Falco. Um, yeah, that could have been bad. So where's... McGoth? You... Why did you... Dude, is McGoth... Oh my god. So where's Commander McGod? What a stubborn man he is. Enemy, they're still here. Was it you who stopped the Jaeger's reinforcements? Yes, why didn't, you, why didn't you get on the ship? That is a stolen ship from Marley. With that kind of speed, it will catch uh, up to our allies and sink them in no time. That can't stay here. Then I will help. I saw the Marley and Commander going into this ship. Attack, use the ship to chase the enemy and sink them. They're here. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna light the gunpowder on fire. If you want to dive in- What?! If you want to dive into the sea, now's the time. No, I'm good. I was just wondering when I was going to die anyway. Wh what? I w why are you on 
our side. This island might get the worse of it. I saw my students heading south from the fort in uh, Shingachina with Annie Le um, Leonard. There, there, I realized their goal, and I felt emotional for my students' growth. If you didn't stop the reinforcements, we would have been done for. You'll become one of the heroes who saved the world. Then the same goes for you. Oh my god, I'm gonna cr Oh my god. I'm, I'm gonna try not to cry right now. I- Oh my god. I can't be proud of myself. I went against my will and followed the orders of my country and told those kids to destroy the walls. Now I realize how happy I would be if those kids could live normal lives. Even if you aren't, aren't proud of yourself, open up! I Open up! Even if you aren't proud of yourself, I think you're a great person, and those kids probably do as well. Thanks. What is your name? Keith, uh, Shadies, you? Theo McGoth. <laughs> Humans can decide their own fate. Oh my god. Try not to cry right now. Oh my god. This, you know what the end of this chapter is making me think of? Um, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm spoiling Promise Neverland right now. In a way, it is making me think of, um, of, uh, Hugo and, um, and, uh, Lucas in, uh, The Promise Neverland, how they went out. That's what this kind of is making me, it's kind of making me think of that. But, but a little bit different, but this is a little bit different, um, how I'm feeling emotionally. Because we're, with Lucas and Hugo, it, it was more, I was feel that it was more tragic. I hear, I feel, I, it's, it's so honorable. Well, it was tragic and honorable in their own way for Hugo and, um, and, and Lucas, but here, I just, it feels, it's so beautiful and honorable what's happening. I love, love what happened here. I love what Isayama did here. This was so beautiful. What a beautiful ending for McGoth's, um, story. Oh my God. What a beautiful end. Like, yeah, it's sad. But, oh my god, I'm trying not to cry, because, oh my god, I love how McGaw's story is ending. This is just so beautiful, because McGaw, remember how we met, how McGaw's story started, and he was such an asshole, and he was, and he was, um, he was indoctrinated in this system. And he was, and he was going to be, fate, he was fated to be a part of this indoctrinated system until he died. And he, um, realized, remember that therapy session he was in before that? And he had that breakthrough, realizing that what he, that he was wrong for what he did. He kind of, and he, and this is like his way of atonement. I, oh God, I want to read that last part again, what he said, because this is what, really, really struck me, um, was right here, um, what McGoss said right here made me very, very happy, um, Uh, I can't be proud of myself. I went against my will and followed the orders of my country and told those uh, kids to destroy the walls. Now I really, now I realize how happy I would be if those kids could live normal lives. And then when Johnny said this, just, oh God, when he said this, that just made it so much better. Even if you aren't proud of yourself, I think you're a great person and those kids probably do as well. When he said that, like, oh my God. This, oh God, I want to just read this. Uh, okay, I got to read this whole scene again because this whole thing with Keith and, um, and 
the goth is just, again, so fucking powerful. Oh my god. Um, starting from here, this whole thing, I'm sorry, I have to read this again because this was just... This has to be one of the most powerful things from, um, this arc, in this arc. Um, this has to be one of the most powerful moments of this arc for me. Oh my god. Oh god. This guy, it has to be one, like, probably top ten most powerful things of this arc. Um, was it you who stopped the Jaeger's reinforcements? Yes, why didn't you get on the ship? This is a sh that is a ship stole, uh, stolen from Marley. With that kind of speed, it will catch up to our allies and sink them in no time. That can't stay here. Then I will help. I saw the Marley commander going onto the ship. Attack! Use the ship to chase the uh, enemy and sink them. They're here. It doesn't matter. I'm going to light the gunpowder on, fi uh, on fire. If you want to dive into the sea, now is the time. No, I'm good. I was just wondering when I was going to uh, die anyway. Why are you on our side? This island might get the worst of it. I saw my students heading south from the fort in uh, Shinkashina with Annie Leonard. There, I realized their goal, and I felt emotional for my students' growth. If you didn't stop the reinforcements, we would have been done for. You will become one of the heroes who saved the world, then this, then the same goes for you. I'm sorry I have to read this the thir a third time, this part a third time, but God damn it, it's just that powerful. I can't be proud of myself. I went against my will and followed the orders of my country and told those kids to destroy the walls. Now I realize how happy I would be if those kids could live normal lives. Even if you aren't proud of yourself, I think you're a great person and those kids probably do as well. Thanks. What is your name? Kishadis. You? Theo McGough. And then... Humans can decide their own fate. This was powerful! Oh my god, this had, this is the, the most, this has to be at least top 10 most powerful moments of this portion of the arc. This really does. Oh my god, this was so fucking powerful. Oh my god, this was so beautiful. I can't, I just can't, man. Oh my god. I'm really curious what you guys think. Um, this, uh, definitely this is my favorite, besides, of course, uh, Falco, um, transforming into a titan. And then, uh, actually, you know what, I'm gonna point this out too, speaking of Falco transforming into a titan. Falco decided his own fate. Think about that. This was all about choosing, um, deciding... Uh, fate, deciding what they wanted to do. It was their decision. And not letting anyone else do, uh, choosing what they wanted to do. It was all, and that's kind of, you know what, that actually kind of fits with this whole underlying theme that we've been getting here uh, throughout this final arc, which is free will. And I love it. I'm loving every single second of it. This was beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh my god. I'm really curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Again Zinc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Attack on Titan content, there's a few ways you can do that. You could donate to my um, uh, uh, Cash App, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something on my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!